Hi everyone, welcome back to Greybeard Droning. It's Thursday the 31st, 2023, back at Anfield. We're going to fly the drone, we're going to see what's going on. I think there's a lot of clean-up jobs going on still inside the building. We're going to talk about the transfer deadline day, Mo Salah. Is he staying? Is he going? We're also going to talk about Buckingham. There's been no update on their own website since the 17th of August. What does that mean? We're going to talk about that also. Without further ado, if you like what you see, click like, share, subscribe. We're going to get the drone up. And welcome back everyone. We're already in, in the air. There has been a couple of workers who came out through the um, exit on the main stand, came over with a wheelbarrow, filled it up with whatever that mound is over there. And they went back inside. So I'm not sure what that was for. I'm guessing they're still doing little jobs inside and fill the road stand. They're the only two workers I've seen. Oh, there's, as I speak, there's somebody just come out there. Where's he going? I'm not certain, to be fair. Keep eye on him for a little while. I did try and have a look at the high-vis vest to see if I could see anything on it. These ones did have a name on it. They weren't blank, as they have been in the, the last few days. So I'm just going to keep an eye on him where he goes. Yeah, apologies, I haven't been airborne for the last few days. It's just been, there's no point being here every single day. There really isn't. I'll go forward a little bit more. But yeah, booking them. Absolutely no news whatsoever. I keep checking in on their website. It hasn't been updated since the 17th when they broke the news. There's been no news about administration being appointed as yet. And the 10 days is well, well up now. So I'm guessing they are yet to still be placed into administration until that news is broken. So we are none the wiser with booking them and what's going to be happening with this stand anytime soon. A load more guys over there now. Not sure what their tasks are going to be for the day. We'll keep eyes on them while I'm carrying on talking a little bit. Transfer deadline day tomorrow. I normally enjoy watching, but our Liverpool FC are going to be doing a lot of business. I hopefully wish that we do get another player or two in, but I'm just hoping, aren't I? You know, I still think there's a couple of areas still we are light on. And that one story of Mo Salah, it's just not going away, is it? Saudis, they definitely want him in the league. They're offering him more money than, than Cristiano Ronaldo. He'll probably be the highest paid player in the league if he was to go there. But do we risk losing Mo Salah and not being able to replace him? We can't afford to be not competing for a Champions League position. We've got to at least be top four. But if they offered 100 million and put it there in front of you, would you take it? Would you say, yeah, we'll take that money and risk not replacing him with one day left of the transfer window? For me, He's 31 years old. He hasn't been the same player since he signed the contract of a wage increase. He just hasn't been the same. Yeah, he's still doing a job for us. Fantastic job at that. But he hasn't been the most seller of the last few seasons. 
But for a 31 year old, I'll be half tempted to take that money. But would we, we just wouldn't get anybody in to replace him. It's too much of a risk. I know there's been arguments. Some of you have said, yeah, you'd accept. You're strong enough to cope. You can, you can still make top four without him. I'm not convinced. We always pick up injuries every single season. Always. And it will happen again, unfortunately. It's part and parcel of the game. If you picked up more injuries in Mo Salah's position and the players who come in, are, they're either out or so, what, what are you going to do? Man City, Arsenal, they've all got massive squads, you know. They've got the players to, to drop into the, into the position and they can do a job. We're going to be scratching the bare bones, you know. We need a bigger squad. Yeah, part of me says accept the money for the 31 year old and part of me saying we need him for a Champions League top four push we've got to be there we can't have two seasons in the Europa League that's just not acceptable in my eyes anyway you've, you've got your opinion put it in the comment section I'd love to hear it but yeah transfer deadline that I'll definitely be watching tomorrow still be Keep an eye on booking and what happens there, but I'm not, I'm not hopeful we're going to hear anything else this week. Still not sure what these guys are up to. I'm going to try and get in a bit closer. I am a bit high. I'll drop down a bit. Go down to about 70. Lower than that. By 61 meters. These guys are uh, getting some barriers out for something. I can't zoom in anymore because I'm, not, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to read what's on their shirt on their high vis tops and. See what contractors they are, but it looks like they're preparing to do something around that area. I don't know who those ones are in the black, black are. Mr. Grounds looking nice and clear and ready for our next Premier League game. Aston Villa. Had some good games against them over the years, haven't we? Another three points will do just nicely if we can pull it off. I'm going to go a bit higher, just above. He, he was pushing around the Forever Stones there. So is, uh, is the grounds work allowed to continue then? Or? Interesting. I thought, I thought, I thought no grounds work would be allowed to continue. Why Buckingham is still up in the air? But if Liverpool have been talking and there's an agreement in place, then fair do. Hopefully, we could start seeing LCC continue soon. Very interesting. I know there's been a lot of tidying up and clearing up inside. You can tell by how full the skips are. 
Most of that is from inside the ground, the stand. I wish I could get in close and still look peek for the windows, but while there's people around, no chance. I'm just eager to see what's to do internally still, especially on the, the second floor. I would just love to go and check it out, but not when there's people about, no chance. I mean, oh, it's going to be interesting if groundwork is going to continue. I can't really zoom in anymore. There's no drain there, is there anything? That's, that was fully tarmacked, wasn't it? Just wondering who they were in the black suits. I ain't going to get carried away yet and say ground works continued, which I'm not sure. I think it's just a little clean-up job that's got to be done. I'm going to go over the top and have a bird's eye view. About 75 meters. There we go, stop there. Still not still not really, really clear, is it? No idea what they're doing, to be fair. If you've got an idea, let me know. <laughs> I think that's going to be the video today, guys. Um, and Phil Road Stand, you are none the wiser what's going to be happening. It's going to be a wonderful stand when it finally is completed. Whenever that will be, none of us know as yet. But we're going to leave this here. We talked about Salah, we talked about Buckingham, we talked about the odd workers being back doing something. Like what you saw, click like, share, subscribe. I'll be back again tomorrow doing a different kind of video, special one. I ain't gonna let it on. I'm not gonna let on to what it's gonna be about. It's important that everyone should know the history of it. That's the only clue you get in. It's placed on the other end of the ground. That's all I'm going to say. See you for tomorrow's video. Take care now, wherever you are in the world. Enjoy the rest of your day.